during World War II, the Allies and Germany were both competing for super weapons that could give them an advantage in the war. In the U.S., we had the Manhattan Project, which ultimately led to the first explosion of an atomic bomb. Little known to the public is the Germans were working on an identical project, and one of the great scientists, Heisenberg, in Germany was a world leader before World War II in looking at how you could have a controlled nuclear explosion. The Germans believed that deuterium oxide was a key ingredient to allowing them to build an atomic bomb. The challenge was that there were very few places in the world that could produce it. And one of the places was in Norway, at the Norsk Hydro plant. The Germans realized that this was the key. The Allies understood they had to stop and slow the German production so that we could get the weapon before they did. The SOE, the Special Operations Executive, trained members of the Norwegian resistance and sent them back in an operation called Gunnerside to attack the plant. In 1943, they successfully ran a clandestine operation which planted explosion and sufficiently damaged the cradles of the vessels used for the deuterium oxide that they were able to slow down the production enough that the Germans were never able to produce the bomb. After World War II, the plant held a reunion for the living saboteurs that had survived, and they presented each one with a vial of deuterium oxide. And this is one of the rare surviving examples. It's still engraved with the logo of the Norsk hydro plant, and it's a kind of a stark reminder of what could have been in World War II had we not had the bravery of these individuals in a very, very successful raid. One of the challenges was getting this back from Europe to the U.S. And I flew over to get it, and I want to take it back on the plane with me. So how do you declare to an airline security that you want to bring back the necessary ingredient for an atomic bomb on a commercial airline flight? 